Okay. Now, with all of these communication channels that we have, like our push notifications, SMS, email, where it all comes together with our segments and uh, our triggers is here. So if I go to my engagement, you can see here, let me discard that, that I have my journeys, okay? And I can create a new journey. Come on. Okay, and again, it's going to try and you can see again, it's trying to guide me. Is it a trigger that you're using? Is it a segment that you're using? So you'll remember those triggers were the ones that Microsoft, I showed you this quite a few out of the box, like um, customer voice survey submitted or uh, contact updated, or is it a segment? So I might have decided this is our annual conference 2024 that I'm starting to market for. And I actually went and I built a segment where I took um, people who attended the previous conferences and hot leads that we are targeting. So I can decide who do, who do I want to be in this journey. Okay, I'll give it a name. If I said, for example, it's a trigger, I'm going to say if a contact's created. So sales go, they create a contact, which means they've signed up to us. They're going to be doing business with us like they've bought a certain investment or policy. Um, and we then need to onboard them. So when a contact is created, I'm going to do an onboarding journey for them. So let's say onboarding. Okay. I then go and create that journey. And then it's all again, drag and drop and click, right? So I can see my first step is a contact's created. That's how they will come onto this journey. And then it's asking me, what do you want to do after this? So somebody gets created. And most likely, I might want to send them an email saying, welcome to uh, Mount Street, right? So I would have created that email in my email editor. I look up to it here and I select it. Um, I'll select it and it will go into that tile there. Okay, and it's showing me it's an email that you selected. The other thing that I can then do is I could say, well, after I've sent this email, so to actually say to them, you know, welcome, here's your welcome pack. This is how we work. This is who will be your account manager. Then I might actually put a wait timer in. So I could say wait for a week then before you go to the next action. Uh, and I can do an, uh, an if branch. I'm going to say wait. I'm going to tell it to wait um, a set amount of time. And let's say we're waiting one week after we sent that email. Then after that, I'm going to tell it if people opened my previous email, so I can say to it, um, okay, so if people open my email, you decide who you actually, oh, I'm telling the system, you decide what you're going to send to them. So I can go and I could say after I've created the onboarding email, they've responded to it, um, they're onboarded now. Now we actually want to invite them to a customer event, but I want to use the channel that they're most responsive to. So I might go put that invite in an email, a text message, and a push notification, but I'm telling the system, choose the best channel based on each contact that gets created in the system. You go and see what do they respond to best and send them that invite via their channel that they prefer. Okay, and with journeys, I can honestly keep going and keep going and keep going. So it depends on what kind of journey you're running and um, what the end goal is. So this is an if branch. If I'm saying, okay, I've sent them the invite, maybe if they've registered, if they registered, yes, do this. If they didn't register for that customer day, then you know maybe I send them the invite again via their preferred channel in two weeks. Or maybe you know I'm, I'm going to just choose a channel that I think they would better react to. So this journey can go from the start, from that it gets created, all the way down. And then again, this means that whatever happened in this journey, so people who opened their emails, who responded to my event invite, and who actually pitched up on the day, I can again go and create new segments saying, everybody who clicked on my email and also pitched on the day, put them into a segment or find me similar people that have similar profiles. Okay, so that's how you can start playing around with these. Um, so those are your journeys. Once your journey is live, what is quite nice is, so you will save it, you will publish it, 
you will be able to see how many people are running through your journey at any point in time. So it is quite a nice way to see how effective are the different channels that I have put in here or the steps or do I maybe need to reduce my waiting times a bit. Um, so you can monitor those in real time. And then you also have some additional functionality in that you can set up goals, which is those goal metrics that you saw under the channels, um, the channel analytics, which said to you, this is how many of your goals have been met. This is how the journeys are doing. You can also set goals yourself for journeys. So say, I want 20 people to have registered for this event um, within two weeks. And it will tell you then how, how are you doing in meeting those goals. So this is especially useful if you have a lot of things running at the same time um, so that you don't have to go in and remember what we'll be trying to achieve, but you can just see at a glance in your analytics how are we doing with meeting the goals for these different journeys and what do I need to focus on next.